It's March 19 and I am doing the Hugh Norris Trail up to Wasson Peak at Saguaro National Park. At least that is the goal. <laughs> Who knows? The things happen that plans don't go exactly as you think they will. Such as my hike yesterday, if you've been following. Anyways, um, it's really nice, peaceful, beautiful. Not too many cars at the trailhead, so I'm encouraged by that. And it's a Monday morning. Please register. <laughs> Lots of stairs to begin with. And birds. Look at that rock up there. It could come tumbling down any second. I guess not. These bushes are so pretty. I gotta learn my desert plants better. That saguaro has got arms askance. Apparently this trail is the most popular trail in the park, so I just knew I had to do it. Because of the golden calf incident, 3,000 Israelites had been slain by the sword. So it was with deep sadness that the people buried their dead. Then a plague broke out. And now the message came to them that the divine presence would no longer be with them in their journey. Jehovah said, I will not go up in the midst of you, for you are a stiff-necked people, lest I consume you on the way. And the command was given, take off your ornaments that I may know what to do with you. Now there was mourning throughout the encampment. In penitence and humiliation, the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments at Mount Horeb. The removing of ornaments implies mourning and reformation. It's amazing they had anything left to remove after the golden calf incident. There's that rock from this perspective. So I have been doing these stairs for the last half an hour straight. That's all they have is stairs. Pretty amazing, the people that built this. But I hope you can appreciate how far I've come. Can you see way down there? <laughs> That's the road I drew, drove in at. So yeah, it looks like I'm getting near some kind of top soon, hopefully. trail over there. By the divine direction, the tent that had served as a temporary place of worship was moved far away from camp. This was still further evidence that God had withdrawn his presence from them. He would reveal himself to Moses, but not to such a people. The rebuke was keenly felt, but they were not left without hope. Because even though the tent was pitched outside of camp, Moses called it the tabernacle of the congregation. So all who were truly penitent and desired to return to the Lord were instructed to go there and confess their sins and seek his mercy. Then whenever Moses went to the tabernacle, the people would gather at their own tent doors to see if God would condescend to meet with him, giving them hope that God would not consume them. When the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the entrance of the tabernacle, 
I'm sure the people wept for joy. So far I've met three people that have turned back. They didn't make it to the end. And one guy that did make it to the end. And he said, if you've done Picacho Peak, then this is baby. <laughs> so yes, I'm very grateful for that. But I got a long way to go yet. Can you see my trail over there? Looks amazing though. But ever onward, upward. Makes me wonder what Moses' trek up the mountain was like. How long of a climb he had. When Moses got to the top of the mountain again, then it says that God spoke with him face to face as a man speaks with a friend. Crusting something here. Wow. Just wow. Moses said to God, if you aren't going with us, then please show me who you have to send with me. And please consider that this nation is your people. And what would the surrounding nations say if you were not with us? Then God said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. You have found grace in my sight and I know you by name. Oh, we even got poppies up here. So pretty. days. Tucson. More views. Now these are new flowers I have not seen yet in my travels. They're pretty. Still, Moses did not cease his pleading. His every prayer had been answered, but he thirsted for greater tokens of God's favor. He now made a request that no human being had ever made before. He said, Please show me your glory. God's gracious reply was, I will make my goodness pass before you. But then he said, you cannot see my face for no man shall see me and live. Then God had Moses stand on a rock. Of course I'm privileged to see a snake, a very long snake, but I think I can get around him. His tail goes on forever. I made it to the other side of him now. He's trying to get across. Slowly. his way across. wonder what he's fearful of. <laughs> you go, snake. That's it, you go. Well, when God passed by, he put Moses in the cleft of that rock and he covered Moses as he walked by. Then when he removed his hand, Moses saw his back, but God's face was not seen.
This was the hand that made the world, the hand that removes mountains and they know not. This hand took a creature of the dust, a mighty man of faith, and placed him in the cleft of a rock, while the glory of God and his goodness passed before him. To the transgressor, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But Moses stood in the presence of the Eternal One, and he was not afraid, because his soul was in harmony with the will of his Maker. There's Tucson. Yeah. They want us to register again, just to see if we made it, I guess. And I made it. Yes. Wasson Peak is the highest peak in the Tucson mountain range. It took me just over three hours to get up there. A little bit longer than average, but I don't care. I know that going back is going to be a lot easier. <laughs> this guy again but I walked past him honestly he has his own home right there I guess <sighs> well when you see the tippy rock and the stairs you know you're almost done I just passed a guy wearing a black sweatshirt and it's like 2.30 in the afternoon on a blazing hot day. But honestly, I haven't seen a ton of people on this Hugh Norris trail. Lots of people near the peak, but so not so bad of a trail. Healing hiker rating, five out of five. It's strenuous, but it's not technically difficult. And yeah, it seems like a really long day to dig, but I did it and I'm very happy. Oh yeah, and it's 10 miles total. 10 hard miles, <laughs> but doable miles. And I did it in six hours, which is an hour over, but considering I'm filming and stopping and filming, it's not bad. When I see God's nature and look at his stars at night, I get a glimpse of God's glory. But oh, what a day that will be when we see Jesus as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Are you ready to meet your maker?
waiting breath. 